Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm uh, Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we'll try to answer question 11, 2018 GCE. So question 11 here. Uh, this is the table. This is how the table looks. Let's try to check the question. This is how the question is. And the table. Luckily, in this paper, we are given the formulas to use. So for me, we use this for standard deviation, this for this. Okay, so since we, we want to find or to calculate the standard deviation, we can pick either working with this or this one. I like working with it, this, uh, this formula, of which most of the teachers, I think, don't like it. I don't know why, but this one is the fastest. So I'll show you why I mean it's the fastest. This one, you need to make a table. This one, there is no need of a table. So I'll go with this one. So I'll say SD, which is equal to standard deviation, is equal to root over summation of F over X squared over summation of F. Okay, minus the mean squared, X bar squared, that's mean. So now let's try to find this we find this and this so I'll start with the mean so x bar this is mean so how do i find the mean the formula for finding mean is over here so it says summation of f of x over summation of f which is equal to so if you can see we have not been given a range or an intervals here we don't have intervals it's more like we have been given the midpoints so just get the frequency, this frequency, F put. So the first one is 1, even if we don't write, but I'll just write so that you understand what I'm doing. The second one is 5. You're leaving some space there, there's, there's 4. Leave some space, plus 6. Leave some space. In short, this sign means plus. You add everything. Plus 10. Leave some space there. Plus 16. Leave some space plus 18 leave some space everything divided by summation of these when you add these one by one you get 60 and in the question we have been told that there are 60 fruit trees so this is the 60 we have put here so now in the spaces what are we supposed to put we are supposed to put this so there is a 2 3 4 5 six seven and eight here so you make sure that you are putting for example five is here this is five in the bracket you put it, the number which is on top here this is four in the bracket you put the number this is six you put the number just like that so you can punch on your calculator <coughs> remember you need to use the calculator for this question so you can punch on your calculator So when we punch on our calculator, uh, this is uh, 2 plus open uh, 5, open brackets, 3, there are 4, open 4 inside the bracket, plus 6, open 5, plus 10, open bracket, 6, plus uh, 16, open bracket, 7 inside plus 18 open bracket 8 inside this is giving us 300 and 379 so 379 divide by 60 by 60 what are we getting divide by 60 we are getting 6.31666 and the 7 so we'll put it in three significant figures of which it will just be three point at six point three two. So we have now found our our mean. So I can erase here. My mean is six point three two. So this is the mean. This is the mean. I'll write it here six point three two. So this mean I want to come and put it here. So but before I do this, I need to find this. So, next will be to find this. 
So how do I find this? So if you're able to see very careful on this one, this is a little bit similar to the formula of finding mean. It's just the same as mean, but the difference is that at x it is power 2. So I want you to compare what we were doing previously and what how it is going to look like. So here we'll put uh, 1 like it was, open bracket, plus 5, open, plus 4, open, plus 6, open, plus 10, open, plus 16, open, plus 18, open. Everything divided by 60. This summation, this and this were just the same. By 60. Inside the brackets, we start putting 2, 3 here, 4 here, 5, 6, 7, 8, like we did with me. But the difference is that here we're going to be putting power 2. This power 2, which is on the formula here, power 2, power 2, power 2, power 2, power 2, power 2. So now we can punch on our calculator. 2 plus 5 open 3 squared here. So I'm putting a power 2 like this. Hopefully you're able to see. Can you see like this? Yeah, maybe you can see like this. Power 2 on top of the bracket there. So plus 4 open 4 top power 2 plus 6 open bracket 5 on top power 2 plus 10 open bracket 6 inside power 2 there plus 16 open bracket uh, 7 power 2 there plus 18 open 8 inside power 2 so we are getting 2 5 5 7 over 60 so now when we divide on our calculator, it's giving us 4, uh, are we getting the right thing? Let me check on actually, before we make a mistake, 2 squared plus 5, open bracket there, 3 squared plus 4, open bracket, 4 inside the brackets, Squared. So make sure that what you are doing is, uh, is the right thing. Don't rush. Take your time so that you gain marks. This exam question, I will just say it's a free mark. If you just follow the steps nicely, the way they are done. Yeah, actually... We forgot to put power 2 at 2. This is supposed to be 9, not 7. So you divide by 6. It's giving you, it's giving us something like 42.65. I don't know if this is what everyone is getting. So now, we have what to use. We have what to put inside the formula. We have the mean here to put here and this to put here. So now, it will be like this. Equal to SD is equal to the root of the root of this stuff which is here 42.65 minus so these are inside the brackets minus the mean here so the mean here 6.32 there is a power 2 on the mean so put power 2 don't forget that power 2 which is equal to so if you do your works nicely, so you say 42, 42.65 minus 6, actually put this one inside the bracket, 6.32 squared. It's giving us uh, 2.7076, of which when you find the square root of this, your answer will be equal to 
0.65. So this is the answer in uh, three significant figures. So for relative cumulative frequency to find the missing numbers here, you just divide by 60. So 26 divide by 60 to be 0 0.433. So 42 divided by 60, it will be 0 0.7. 60 divided by 60, it's 1. So this is how you find the missing numbers when you've been given, when you've been told to find the cumulative, uh, the relative cumulative frequency. So this was divided by this, and then they found this just like that. So let's try now to put this. Uh, on our graph paper and finish answering question B. You write for B1, you write your solution here, like I've just done here. And then the next thing will be to do your X or Y plane. So this is what you do. You can mark up to somewhere here, since you don't know where you're supposed to end. And then the x-axis here this is the x-axis so now at this point you go to the scale so let's check the scale what is it saying we start with x-axis so it is saying uh, one centimeter to represent one unit so meaning here there is a zero already one unit so the first number should be one one unit okay so we know that this is two centimeters now they're saying one centimeter meaning half of this from here to here so one here and the range of being given zero is less or equal to x less or equal to eight so it's supposed to end at eight so we go one two three four five six seven up to eight so now we know where we are ending we can clean up this excess uh, line so we even put that this is our x-axis cut and put x-axis there we go to the y-axis they are saying two centimeters to, pre to represent 0 0.1 so two centimeters, this box from here to here is two centimeters. So meaning 0 0.1 must be here. This is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Because the scale is saying from zero or zero is less or equal to y, less or equal to one. So we are ending at one. This is 0 0.6. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1 here, where we're ending. So we have this. So now we can start plotting. So our first uh, set of coordinates is uh, 2 comma 0 0.02 so let's check nicely where people make mistakes they get for x-axis they get the cumulative frequency no for x-axis you need to get remember when we are calculating standard deviation what numbers were, were we getting for x it's the, the fruits per tree that's what we are getting two three four uh four five uh, six seven eight those are the numbers we're getting so for x-axis, it's 2, 0 0.02. So 2 is over here. 0 0.02, of course, is, 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 is before 0 0.1. So 0, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2.3. So now 0 0.2 is supposed to be somewhere here. If you are following nicely, these dots must be showing. The next coordinates is uh, 3, 1. 3 here, 1 is here. Next is 4,0.17. Uh, so 4 is, uh, I mean, 4 is here. And then 
0 0.1 is here 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it's over here the next is 5 comma 0 0.27 so 2 is here 5 is over here this is 5 2 is here this is 2 2 point, uh, 0 0.2 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 uh, sorry 0 0.2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 over here you must be very careful when when putting or plotting your coordinates the next one will be 6 comma 0 0.43 so 6 is this one 4 is over here so we count 4 uh, 4 one two three it's over here the next one is uh it's a uh, seven seven comma zero point seven so zero point seven is here zero point seven is where is here the next one is eight comma one so eight comma one one is here the graph must be nicely done So this is my graph over here. This is my graph. So once you're done with the graph there, you can now answer question three, Roman numeral three, which is it? They are saying find the 70th percentile. So for you to find the percentile, you get 70th here divided by, this is 70 divided by 100. It's more like you're taking it in percentage, like percentile, times 1, the total number. 1 is the total number which is here. So you get the percentile we have been given 70 divided by 100 times the number which is here. In this case, you see, it's 1 over here. Here, it's 1. So your answer will be 0 0.7. So now this 0 0.7, meaning... You check on the y-axis here. Where is 0 0.7? It's here. So you, you go to where 0 0.7 is. And then make a line like this. Until it touches the graph. After it touches the graph. Now take it to the axis from where it's touching, it's touching the graph. So up to somewhere here. So this is our solution. So meaning you write there how many seven fruits so the 17th uh, 17th percentile is seven fruits here because the number which is here is a it's a seven and it's what we're getting thank you very much kindly subscribe to my youtube channel share my videos